On to the warrior achievement. Do you yield? Give your hero plus 10, plus 16 attack with a single unyielding vindicator's battle cry. Now, I am operating under the assumption that says, since this says a single unyielding vindicator's battle cry, that you won't be able to cheese this by using Bran. Because Bran will do the battle cry twice, but each of those would be a separate battle cry. So even if you get something up to plus eight and do it twice, then um that wouldn't I don't I don't think that would count for the achievement because it's not a single battle cry. But I don't know f that for sure. And if you have uh, experience to the contrary, I would love to know about it. That being said, I'm going to go for the plus 16 without using Bran. That means I want to get a, an unyielding... I'm sorry. That means I want to get a stalwart Avenger in my hand. So this starts at plus 7. Crimson Commander, Battlecry, and Death Rattle plus one, so that's two for each of those. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A Crystalline Great Mace, plus two attack to all Draenei in your hand, so each of these can get four, so eleven to fifteen, um, fifteen to nineteen. So, with just these cards, it is possible to get the Stalwart Avenger itself up to sixteen attack, and then you can Unyielding Vindicator and Stalwart Avenger on the next turn to get your plus 16 in one go. Um, I have other things that can possibly speed that up a little bit. But, but beyond this, we're really going to be focused on uh, draw and survival. Because we need a lot of specific cards in hand to make this work. So, let's figure that out. Okay, so we have a bunch of armor-related cards. We have the shield block. We have bashes. We have uh, rifts, which are good for draw and armor. Uh, so we have all of those. We have craftsman's hammer. Um, and we also have the ceaseless expanse for, for one, like, big boom if we need it. We have a, a couple of gifts so that we can use these for more armor, or we can use these for a couple of bras, shield slams. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just trying to get to the point where we have the right cards in hand, and then make it work. So, let's go. Renathal versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. There is a simplicity in inevitability. I faced a couple of uh, aggro decks in a row, um, and that did not go well. I wasn't able to to survive long enough to get what I needed. So this is attempt number three. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Appears to be no signs of intelligent life here. I died so slow. <laughs> Hopefully, they didn't have that mu many Draenei in their hand, because that was my Crimson Commander they got. Darkness! 
to me. Okay. See, I would like to activate the riff. So, I have five mana to play with. One, two, three, four, five. That seems good to do it that way. Oh, but if I hmm. face the darkness. Light sings and the impure fall. I'll do back tomorrow. Ooh. I don't have to worry too much about activating my previous rift because my previous rift was a, a verse buff. But if I do that. Right, and then do that, and then do that, I can draw more. Face the darkness. to be no signs of intelligent life here. Inside voices, please. And the impure fall. Appears to be no signs of intelligent life here. Job done. I'm close. Fifteen.
Okay. Boom. <gasps> oh no! I did that the opposite way. Ah. Okay, this is still doable. Because I can do this. And then these will all go into that. I messed that up hard by playing the Draenei in the wrong order there, but luckily I had those cups and I saved myself with genius foresight. Yeah, let's go with that. But there you go, plus 16 attack with a single unyielding Victor Vindicator's battle cry. Good enough for me.